So with internship season approaching, a lot of you guys are probably looking for an internship. I remember when I was first getting started, I was struggling to even get any interviews. So I wanted to share some tips that I found helpful when getting an internship with no experience. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Ranesh and I'm a data scientist at a tech startup. Not too long ago, I was in my junior year of college with no experience in the past, looking to get my first internship. Fast forward about three months, I got eight internship offers and managed to even convert one of those internships to a full-time role. I documented my entire journey and I'm sharing all the tips that I found helpful to you guys so that hopefully you guys can find an internship too. If you haven't checked out part one of the series, I highly recommend checking it out. I basically went over how you can get experience if you have none through projects, courses, certifications, unpaid internships, and even volunteer work. I also shared how you can package all the skills that you've learned into a one-page resume so you can actually get interviews. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the interview portion of the job search. Generally, for interviews, the behavioral component matters more for your internships just because the technical requirements are pretty low. The good thing about interviews is that you're speaking and interacting with an actual person. It's much easier to work with an actual person as compared to an AI. Interviews are also typically very well documented. This means you can use resources online to actually practice your interview skills. You've probably already experienced some sort of behavioral interview question before. They usually follow the format or structure of tell me about a time where you've experienced constructive criticism and how did you react to it. It can also go over some previous project that you worked on, some challenges that you face, and how you over came them. Usually the bottom line here is to try to understand your personality, how you communicate to other people, how you work in teams and stuff like that. If you have a technical role, they might also ask how you communicate that information to non-technical folks. They might also try to uncover your strengths and weaknesses, so be prepared for that too. A common question that I like to ask is how do you stay up to date with the field or how do you continuously learn? There's also a bunch of different frameworks that you can use to better answer these interview questions. I personally prefer the STAR technique. It's structured in such a way where you go over the situation and the business tasks very clearly, and then you talk about the actions that you took to achieve the result. I personally like this technique because I think it it covers all the boxes that the interviewer is looking for. And I think the structure forces you to give all the context and information needed for the interviewer to understand what you were facing and how you overcame it. The good thing about interviews is that you can almost always salvage a bad interview. I've interviewed so many candidates who changed my decision in the last 10 minutes of the interview based on the questions they asked. You see, with interviews, you're playing the person, so it's much easier for you to find things that you relate on. I personally like to do a lot of research on the company and also the interviewer beforehand. This way, I can better cater my questions to each company and interviewer specifically. You can ask questions about similar interests like sports, or you can ask questions about their unique background and how it helped them get to their current role or position, or you can ask questions about your future and get their take on it. When I was doing interviews, I was also in the process of deciding if I should do a master's degree or a PhD. I utilized my interviewer's educational background to try and get their take on the subject, which I think helped me form a better relationship with them. Overall, most people love talking about themselves, so if you can get them to do so by asking good questions, you're probably going to stand out. For technical interviews, I found that most questions are reused across the board. For software engineering roles, it's usually data structures and algorithms questions. For data analyst roles, it's usually something about aggregation, SQL, data cleaning, processing, and stuff like that. The key for these interviews is just to practice the key concepts over and over again until you fundamentally understand the process. There's so many platforms out there like LeetCode, Data Lemur, Interview Query, and stuff like that that can help you with this. The most important part of the technical interview, in my opinion, is to communicate. Make sure to ask clarifying questions if you're confused, talk through your thought process while you're working through the problem, and also make sure to ask for help if you get stuck. All they really want is to make sure that you understand the fundamentals and also to ensure that you're teachable. It's very unrealistic to solve some of these technical problems like the two-sum problem with Python, Java, C++, etc. So instead, focus on the logic over the syntax. I also strongly recommend making a cheat sheet for each interview just so you have a more structured approach. Also for context, internships don't really have more than three rounds of interviews. It's usually just a phone screen, then a technical or behavioral interview, then a panel session where you get to meet the team. Once you start landing interviews, all you have to do is just repeat the cycle and iterate on your skills to improve on until you land an offer that you're happy with. Landing your first internship is not an easy task and will require a lot of initiative, especially if you don't have any previous experience. It is crucial to be patient and resilient as this process can take months and hundreds of applications. Any experience that you can get that will directionally help you reach your goal, in my opinion, is a worthy endeavor. I like to think of it as a step in the right direction. An unpaid teaching assistant or research assistant role that takes three hours of my time a week is worth it. Volunteering at the local church once a week to analyze their finances is worth it. Helping my dad's company build a predictive model in my free time is worth it. All of these experiences will pay off. The hardest part is usually just getting started, but once you get over that initial hump, the momentum will push you forward. Also, don't be afraid to ask for help where needed. You might just find yourself building a network of smart and amazing individuals who are just like you. Referrals are also super helpful, especially when it comes to getting your foot through the door, so if you can, definitely take advantage of that. Especially if you're still in school, you can use stuff like classes, clubs, study groups to gain these referrals. I found that connecting with seniors in the same class who have experience is a good way to start. It's also super important to remember that there's no such thing as a failure when it comes to landing an internship. Every mistake in a project, every rejection, every unpaid position is just taking you a step closer to landing that internship. My mentor once told me that you can never really fail if you don't give up. 
it's important to remember that everyone has to start from somewhere. Everyone has to start with no experience at some point. If they can do it, you can do it too. It doesn't matter if the market's bad. It doesn't matter if you have no previous experience, you can always find a way. I know this sounds super cliche, but instead of focusing on the destination, try and enjoy the journey instead. I have so much respect for you guys who are actually looking for an internship right now. If you guys want more support, feel free to join the Discord community link down below. A lot of the people there are smart individuals who are looking to get an internship and are sharing their process, their tips and stuff like that throughout their journey. There's also a lot of mentors there who have worked for a lot of big companies in the past and are willing to share their experience. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to learn more, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video.